All right, you guys. We're getting ready to uh, read about gold a little bit. And so what we've been focused on is what happens and why it happens, right? A little bit of cause and effect, right? We're trying to look, identify in a scientific text. First of all, what are they taught? What's the topic and main idea? We should still be doing that, right? And then we're trying to figure out what happened and why and how it happened, okay? So as you read today, here's what I want you guys to lock in on, right? Um, and obviously you can read along with me because we're casting this. What was gold used for in the past and what is it used for today? So what are the two things that we're comparing? Past and today, past and today or past and present, right? Happening now, okay? We're going to reread the article when I'm done reading it with you. We're going to underline details that show how people have used gold in the past. And we're going to underline details that show how they use it today. What are some text features that you see right away? They jump right out at you. They're supposed to. Um, Aria. The red ones. This right here, these are called subject headings, right? Or titles or however you want to put I call them subject headings. So that jumps right out at you. So let's read about gold, okay? Gold by Carl Gelb. All right, I'm going to blow that up a little more so you can read along with me. People have valued gold for thousands of years. Because of the metal's durability, gold, ornaments, statues, and jewelry look as brilliant today as when the artists of ancient Egypt and other cultures crafted them thousands of years ago. Gold is one of nature's true wonders. Properties. What do you think we're going to be talking about here? The properties of gold, right? Gold is an element. It cannot be broken down into simpler substances. Gold is also very malleable, which means it is easily flattened into a thin sheet. Gold is also ductile, which means it can be pulled into a wire. For these reasons, gold is useful in making jewelry. One ounce of gold can become 187 square feet of gold leaf or one mile of gold wire. That's amazing. Gold, is also, gold also conducts heat and electricity very well. So those are its properties. Alloys. Pure gold is very soft. Because it's soft, Gold is often mixed with other metals to make a mixture or alloy. That is stronger than gold alone. Adding silver, copper, and zinc to gold produces the color we associate with jewelry. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So an alloy is when two th elements are mixed together. Today's uses. What do you suppose you're going to learn in here? How, How gold is used today. All right. Isn't that use nice and useful? In the past, gold was mainly used for jewelry, statues, and other decorations. But today, we use gold for more than just its beauty. It is an excellent conductor of electricity. <coughs> this means that electricity flows through it easily. As a conductor, gold coats electrical parts inside our cell phones and computers. It helps speed the flow of electricity. Thin films of gold also reflect radiation on satellites, the sun visors of spacesuits, and the windows of skyscrapers. Gold's uses are many and important. So you would take, you could take your highlighters here. You can change the color up if you want. Make sure they're still see-through. I think I actually gave you two. Yep. You could do, what was it, present and past that we're looking at? All right, and so um, if we come down to this first question, it says, first of all, it's a part A, part B. -er. It says, which statement best explains why gold is used for making jewelry? Doesn't the article tell you why it was useful? It, di it did, right? And I can't, off the top of my head, remember exactly, have an idea. So what would be a good thing to do? Wouldn't you go back to the story? and try to find that and highlight it and make a note, then go back and give your answer. All right, read paragraph two. Here it is right here. Here's paragraph two. Underline two sentences that best support your answer up here in part A. So your answer in part A is trying to explain why gold is useful for making jewelry, whatever you gave here. What are some 
things that back you up in that, that, right? Whatever you said. Does that make sense? All right. Then you're going to come down to the short response. It says, use the information in your chart to explain what makes gold useful and why people valued gold in the past and today. So uh, use the chart to organize your idea. What happens? What are some things? Why are, why are some reasons that gold's, gold is useful and why? Right? People mine gold for jewelry. Why? People mine gold for the inside of cell phones. Why? Right? You're going to tell, you're going to give what happened, right? They use it for this, and here's why they use it, right? Okay? Does that make sense? Yes. All right. I'm going to give you guys 25 minutes. Sharpen up your skills right now. You can follow along with me. Today, oh.